Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing the uh, this webcam style. What do I think video again? Uh, just uh, just to do something different versus having to go on a tripod. But uh, uh, you know, figure just change it up a little bit sometimes. Although I did this uh, a couple weeks ago, I believe. Uh, I figured, eh, how about let's do it this time? But anyway, uh, you know what I have for you today in this video is I want to discuss about an article I read and. The link will be in the description below where Google is trying to remove passwords, meaning like uh, a new way to for users to log into their accounts without the need of a password. And it actually connects with your smartphone too. And the way they've gone about doing this, and uh, this was inspired by uh, a method that Yahoo uh, has been working on and Google was doing something similar uh, to what they were doing. But basically, you know, Google uh, wants to make it so that users can use their smartphones just to... Uh, log into their account uh, that way you don't need to, uh, to be required to remember your password uh, and worry about forgetting it and the way uh, you would use your smartphone to log in is if you is if you needed to pick out a specific number or another uh, method in terms of logging into your account without you know, the need to remember a password and there's also two factor authentication as well now I do see this as being an issue already because first of all, not everybody has a smartphone. I mean, we got people out there uh, that are, are out in this world with the flip phones or not even a cell phone at all. So not everybody is converted to uh, a smartphone and that's due to personal needs. And there's no way Google can make this the only uh, method for people lo to log into their account. So therefore, the fact that people have to create passwords to remember them is not going to go away anytime soon. At least that's how I see it. You know, so basically, the only way that you would log into your accounts, or what I believe is the best way, is to just remember your password. And I know that's un unfortunate because there are people that want to create a shorter password, but then again, you're putting your account at risk in terms of security breaches. And therefore, you know, I was recommended that you created a, you create a, at least a 20 character password with all uh, different kinds of symbols, numbers, letters in there. I mean, I go as most as 25. Uh, and if you wanted to just do a three letter word as your password, good, good luck on trying to keep your account secured because you're not doing a good job uh, by uh, creating a very short password like that and you know companies actually make restrictions on okay what's the amount of characters you can use and you know what is the maximum limit or what is the minimum limit and the minimum limit could be like 14 characters and then you can go on as long as you want uh, because I, I mean the reason why people uh, want shorter passwords is just uh, for them to uh, make it easier for them to remember and they'll even put in their password hints to give them an idea what their password could be in case that they forgot but uh, you know uh, I mean I guess these are reasons why Google uh, is wanting to do something like this but then again like I said not everybody has a smartphone so therefore like if you wanted to create an account uh, for a website to join them and they say that you need to have a smartphone in order to log into your account and then if you ask them okay I don't have a smartphone what am I gonna do can I at least create a password nope you're out of luck see that's an issue uh, unless if companies will allow users to go both ways which I'm sure they will but I mean for the requirement of a smartphone to log in I can't imagine that happening and even if it did, I'm, in my opinion, it's going to be a disaster. Because what if you lose your smartphone? Then that's it. That's the end. And then when you get a new phone, how are you going to get all your login information back into your new phone from your old phone? And then make sure that your old phone doesn't have any of your login information. And I would think that the process of going through that would be even more difficult if your phone were to get stolen. So, uh, I mean, I just can't see this happening. Unless if you guys uh, have something to defend it uh, and try to get me to understand uh, that, okay, this is the way to go. It does work. I mean, because I'm thinking it's not going to work. I mean, I don't know if you guys have any ideas uh, out there for this. But me personally, 
that this can't happen anytime soon. There's no way we're going to uh, get away from passwords, and there's no way we're going to get away from password requirements. There's no way we're going to get away from... Uh, there is no way that uh, smartphones will be our only way uh, to log into accounts. I just can't see it happening. Uh, I mean, passwords are still pretty strong right now. Uh, it's just a matter of fact if you're willing to make your password long enough so that way it'll avoid security breaches and that you will remember that password. And, you know, basically for passwords, you just have to work out your own little system so that way you'll know, okay, it's this password, that password, this password. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, do you think that it's a good idea uh, to have your smartphone log into all your accounts for you? And do you think this is better than the need of remembering a password? I mean, leave a comment down below. I'd like to see what you guys have to say. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also, check out the description below for my social media links, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.